Hey folks, welcome to another uneventful episode of this podcast. And uh, this is a podcast where I don't really ask to get guests anymore. I just don't care. Until people want me to kiss their ass. And I just don't do it, so I do a lame show. Anybody can do this show. Anybody can really do a podcast where you talk about your boring week. And then some of you probably have more interest in lives than me, but you won't talk about it. You won't do a podcast. And then we do some odd news, and we try to come up with some jokes. And uh, that's pretty much the show. But, man, you want to talk about a boring week. Fucking uh, Monday, uh, Tuesday night, I went to the gym. As I said last week, if you listen to the last episode, I uh, joined the gym again for the first time in years and I banged out uh, about an hour workout. I could have did more. I went during the day. I was going to go at night, but I went during the day. And I was going to lift some weights. No excuses. But I was like, I got to go home and cook dinner and all this shit. So I was like, fuck it. We'll save it for another day. Then Wednesday night, I went to this open mic in a rock club called The Royal. It's it's mostly, it's not really for comedy. You know, you could do comedy there. But I went there, and it was kind of dead. And on top of that, they do this stupid system where you have to pick a number. And then they call it out like bingo. So I picked number 15, for example. And they called everybody's number but mine. So the time I got to the list, uh, I was number six, and I was going to sign up. And I said, the time I get on number six, that means I'm going to get on at 10 o'clock at night. Because these bands do like 15, 20-minute sets. So I, so I pretend I was on a phone call. I pulled my phone out. I was like, hey, are you here? Oh, you're around the corner? Oh, okay, yeah, it's parked. Yeah, I'll, sh- I'll show you where to park. I'll come meet you. And I walked out, and I just didn't come back. I was I was going to buy a beer. Thank God I didn't. I said, fuck this. And the only good thing about Wednesday night was I went to Target. I got some stuff that I needed. None of your business. And um, <clears throat> I fucking, uh, and then I fucking, uh, I, I got something to eat at Wendy's. Some diarrhea food, I call it. And then that was it. I went home. So I didn't get any stage time this week. I've been on stage since the last uh Oh, my open mic, and speaking of that, it's coming this week, so I'm I'm looking forward to it. And then, um, as far as with the channel, we banged out a prank call show this week. Uh, it was okay, not, not like the last episode. Not that many classics, if you will. Um, you know, pretty lame. Most people didn't pick up, as usual. And then, uh, I ch- oh yeah, as far as the YouTube shorts go, you guys are probably want well, nobody cares about me at all. But if you were wondering why it wasn't YouTube shorts, I did upload one. Um, I did a, I did something different this time. Instead of uploading an old stand-up clip, which I could do any time, what I did was I, uh, I, I found this public freakout of this cop body slamming this uh, fat white woman. It was pretty funny, actually. Um, and he choke slammed a bitch. So I went, oh, my God, King, he choke slammed. I was like, like Jim Ross, and I rung the bell. And then I did the Soldier Man dance, Superman that ho. I thought it was pretty funny. But, of course, YouTube made it copyright restricted. And because of that, I didn't get much views for this short. I should have waited. I only waited about 30, 45 minutes and said I had no views. I should have just waited because sometimes it does take an hour or so to get some views. But I figured I wouldn't get any because, you know, it's about violence against women. And we all know you can't hit women. No matter how cunty they are, even if they shoot you in the face with a rifle, you can't. So, I mean, it was just a stupid video, so I deleted it then. And I didn't bother to put any other videos up, shorts. And then um, Thursday night was going to go to the gym. I decided not to. I had a stomach gig. That's my excuse. Uh, Friday night, you guys saw the video blog with Old City. I went to Stowe's to get a shot and a beer. And, uh, this white chick that works there, she's kind of like, you know, it's stupid, stupid hipster looking chick. She was like, oh, by the way, you got to leave in about 20 minutes. I got a private party coming in. I said, okay, that's fine. I'll just have one. So I had one shot in a beer and then I left. I, I checked on my car. I, uh, I fucking, uh, I, I got me a, a cheesesteak with Wizard Eyes at the, at the Chinese place. It was okay. It was my first time try their cheesesteak. I, I, I like their chicken cheesesteak better. But, and then I went to this place called uh, Mac Tavern. I really go there, but the beers are kind of expensive. I spent like seven bucks on some pissy war beer, which I would never buy again. Then, um, as far as Stowe's goes, I saw some baddies uh, in there. They were all with guys. They were mostly young, college-looking chicks, mostly white. Um, they were wearing you know, cocktail dresses and short skirts. They all look good. I didn't see a single ugly chick. They all were hot. They are all at least, at least a seven. And that's coming from me. you know. I'm not choosy, but I was like, man, they look good. And, but they all had guys with nothing that mattered. I would have talked to them anyways. And then a lot of guys were trying to sneak in. And the bouncer was like, no, no, you can't come in here. It's a private party. It was this black dude. He he really, I didn't even see him before. But he was like, you can't come in here. It's a private party. Go somewhere else. So then I went to Nationals. 
I got me uh, a Corona, and then I talked to the black Asian bouncer, same old, same old, how you been? There was there was two there was one good looking girl there with a, with a not so good looking chick. I said, like, oh, you should talk to them. I said, I'm not gonna talk to them. What are I gonna say? You know, we were catching up. How you been doing? You know, he wants me to talk to girls. You know, try to do the old false confidence bullshit. Same old, same old. Blah blah blah. You know, but uh, we hung out for a little bit, and you know, his his buddy wasn't there. His bouncer buddy. So he was like, "Come on, stay, talk." You know, hang out. And I hung out for 20 minutes. I said, man, I just want to go home. I was like, I'm tired. He's like, come on. I was like, I got out here like 730. I just want to, you know, I just want to leave. And he was like, oh, come on, you fuck. And then I left. And then uh, as far as tonight goes, where I'm recording this, believe it or not, I'm at the gym. And I got here around 7-ish. It is now 9 o'clock. I did about an hour and I would say hour and 45, 50 minute workout. I did an hour in the treadmill. Uh, not running a course. I did a speed of 3.5, incline 1.5. I'm just pacing myself right now. I did an hour. I burned 300 or something calories, uh, and then which is not much because in fact I ate like a pig today. And then I I did some weightlifting, not a lot, just you know 40, 50 pounds shit. You know you guys probably laugh at that. 40, 50 pounds. You're not gonna lose weight doing that. Yeah, I know. But um, you know I'm just pacing myself. Once again, I haven't been to the gym in years, so. Aside from working out with that Sean guy. So I'm just trying to pace myself. And uh, that's it. That's it for the week. So as far as next week goes, I got my open mic. Um, I haven't been on stage in two weeks. So I'm looking forward to it. I got some new jokes. Even though I, every time I get there, there's usually less than 10 people in the room. But still, I love doing it. Uh, as far as the prank call show goes, I can't promise that. Uh, definitely going to be some, hopefully, some YouTube shorts. And uh, that's it. But folks... This is the first but yet worst comedy podcast in Philly. And it's your favorite podcast show that most people would not listen to. And now it's time for your least favorite segment. It's time for the Odd News. All right, folks, it's time to end this damn show. Let's get to the Odd News right away. A lost tomato found aboard International Space Station after eight months. Uh, you guys will probably think I'm trying to juice that story, but uh, no. rare white alligator born at a Florida wildlife park. Isn't that interesting? That it happened in Florida. A white alligator. Oh no, Florida loves it white. So I want to move there. Uh, Mexican-based uh, startup accused of selling health drink made from endangered fish. Nature's best kept secret. Well, that story's a little fishy. Nah, that's not good. All right. uh, worms ear, rear, and develops its own head, wanders off to mate, the butt even grows its own eyes and its human brain. Um, Pentagon banned from mandated pronouns in compromised defense bill. Woman arrested for pouring gasoline, trying to burn down Martin Luther King's birth home. Oh boy. I guess she had a dream herself. Uh, sea cucumber smuggling operation busted at South Florida Airport, Fed say. I guess everyone likes it in the butt down there. A man banned from cycling has been jail- jailed for 11 months after he traveled to a probation meeting by bike. Well, how was he supposed to get there? U.S. chocolate muggle charged over deaths of Canadian animator and partner in Dominica. Uh, historic Halifax building moved with the help of 700 bars of soap. You guys want to try to wash that story for yourself? All right. George Santos slams slams uh, same-sex marriage after his own wedding anniversary. He probably likes it up to tushy. California's youngest a- attorney, even uh, ever now a Tulare County prosecutor. BC farmers growing outlawed potatoes are looking for new partners. Harvard uh, president apologized that she feels regret following testimony before Congress. Uh, Kodak Black suffered cocaine in mouth during traffic stop. That sounds about right for a rapper. Woman who assaulted a Chipotle worker sentenced to fast food job for two months. So this is like a Seinfeld episode. You get, you get in an accident what a guy with no car insurance becomes your butler. A judge uh, who has ordered Rosemary must now work at a fast food job for two months. Screaming at a Chipotle worker before throwing food in their face. Uh, pay a fine and serve 180 days in jail. You guys know I love Chipotle. 
that'll be heaven for me. Uh, but not the work. Uh, just the discounts on the bowls. Uh, bear takes down a reindeer in Christmas decorations. The bear took down a reindeer. Burr, burr, burr. This sea creature could fight cancer, but looks like a turd. Lizzo? Every single episode, just stop. All right. BBC, that's the news network, not the cock. Uh, presenter, sorry after giving viewers middle finger news broadcast. Why? It's just a finger. Uh, Rikers open up a unit for uh, suspected fire setters that had no fire suppression system. Elijah Wood and Mike Tyson cameo videos were used in Russian disinformation cam disinformation campaign. Yeah, me and my boy Elijah Wood. Okay, I can't do it, Mike Tyson. Woman dies and 12 in hospital after botulism outbreak at Bordeaux restaurant. Uh, Hunter Biden's drug-fueled, prostitute-filled, wild spending sprees land out in a stunning detail. Another hero of mine. That's the president's son, all right. Like father, like son. Uh, Brazilian city enacts an ordinance that was securely written by ChatGPT. Escape reindeer to block the road after fleeing Santa's gr uh, grotto uh, attraction has been captured. Runaway kangaroo punches police officer in the face by being captured in, can uh, in Canada. Um, he needed an eye pouch after that one. Eye pouch? Anybody? All right. Uh, Google says uh, bumpy Pixel 8 screens are nothing to worry about. Blah, blah, blah. Trump is selling a $35 Christmas wrapping paper embolized with his mugshot. Trump 2024! Trump 2000... No, oh, it's not going to happen. You're not going to let him run. You're not gonna let him run. He's going to win. All right. California deer statue vandal revealed as enormous buck. Knife necklace may have played a role in the death of a man at a Kowloon restaurant in the Sagas. 31-year-old man shot in the face after refusing to give some potato chips. This is in Cleveland. Can you imagine that? This story sounds a little bit too crispy. Um, I'm trying to read. They won't show who did it, but I got a feeling. I got a feeling. U UK bans two Toyota ads for opponent off-road driving. Off-road driving does look fun in those commercials. They're running through the mud. They're having a good old gay time. Welsh couple Barrett after bomb squad detonate ornamental garden missile. Man accused of stealing a Marta bus dropping all passengers at a Waffle House. Uh, Volkswagen refused to... Okay, I read that last week. Well, folks, we got one more site to get to. I don't think anybody listens to this show throughout the end. But if you do, the password is uh, goat milk. So put goat milk in the comment of this uh, uh, video on YouTube if you uh, are at this point. Uh, Malaysian couple... Has dinner at cafe, cleans her table and finish, then cleans all the other tables as well. What a bunch of idiots. What, are they looking for a job or something? NASA astronauts find... Okay, I read that already. Houston grandmother says Rainforest Cafe serves batteries and kids meal. Well, you gotta charge them up some way. That's not bad. Batteries charge. Come on, folks. Uh, California deer vandal revealed his name is Buck. I think I read that. Uh, optimism leads to poor decision making and lower cognitive skills. Key parts were used in a final lunch of Italian made v v Vega rocket was found crushed in a landmill. Now, barn on Conjuring House party catches fire. Um, skies in Malaysia turn red. Pictures. Uh... Well, folks, that's it. There's not really a lot going on in the uh, odd news, but then again, Maybe it's for the best we uh, end this episode. Uh, actually, yeah, we did about, what, 12, 13 minutes. That's enough. Well, folks, uh, that is it. I will see you folks on the next one. You just listened to, and we're out of here. Go fuck yourself, Cuffy.